Hello everyone, my name is Jared Weathers and this is Music For Us. I'll be releasing two videos in the lead up to Super Bowl 57. I love watching the halftime show, but not every single one is good. I'll be counting down the top 10 worst Super Bowl halftime shows in this video. Remember, this is subjective, so if you disagree, please comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Number 10, Maroon 5. Now I enjoy Maroon 5's music, however, I don't think Adam Levine does. He sounds so bored when he sings the older songs. A lot of people think he sounds this way all the time, but I don't believe that. The show's very boring, and I will link all these shows in the description if you want to watch them. Number 9, Katy Perry. Left Shark. This is all the show is remembered for. Katy's music sucked, and her halftime show gets this through. If you don't believe me, ask people who watch the show. They'll tell you. I was there. It sucked. Number 8, Lady Gaga. Because this is a particular show, it's so close to the actual show. Sounds like kind of insane. It's not good, but it was crazy how close they got. Number seven, the Rolling Stones. The Stones were old at this point. Jagger looks like he's having a spasm, while Nikki Six and Keith David look half dead. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Number six, Phil Collins, Christina Aguilera, Enrique Iglesias, and Tony Braxton. This one is all of Disney. They have some great pop stars, and they make them celebrate Disney. This is why this halftime show is at 6 on the worst list and not the best list. Number 5, U2. It's U2. Overproduced, underwhelming. Not a lot to say here. Th their music is really boring. Number 4, Paul McCartney. Paul without the Beatles, I don't think should be allowed to sing. The entire time you expected him to stop and introduce the Beatles. Do you remember the track he did with the A and Riri? That makes my point for me. Number three, Beyonce. Queen Bee's not getting out of this one unscathed. She's not that good, and I do not understand how she became the queen of pop. Anyway, before I get tracked down by John Oliver and strangled softly, let's move on to number two. Number two, Tom Petty. I have a lot of respect for Mr. Petty, however, that does not mean I enjoy his music. And I'm sorry, but his voice is way too high pitched. You know, the AG is here to be fun to listen to. Now, before we get to number one, Here's some honorable mentions. Super Bowl 41, Prince. I'm not going to say the show is bad. It's not. It's boring more than anything. I'm sure I'll get dragged for this, but that's my opinion. Super Bowl 54, Shakira and J-Lo. J-Lo really killed this for me. J-Lo has never been a super humble person, but these days it's worse. The show could have been amazing, but they added J-Lo and it sucked. I wish Shakira could get to do another solo halftime show. And if I do another one of these, that might be on the best list. We'll see. Number one. The Who. The first Super Bowl halftime show I remember watching. The Who sucked. I do not like their work. Although a friend told me I like The Who more than I like The Beatles. Which is a statement I agree with. Thank you everybody for watching. This is um, one of two videos that will be posted. Um, the next video will be my best halftime show uh, list. I'll agree or disagree. Leave a comment. And I shall see you all next week.